Before the WTO agreement, countries had more flexibility and room to maneuver in terms of how they uh, provided intellectual property protections. I think compulsory licenses are fully within the framework of the rules governing the TRIPS agreement, and they, I think, are an essential part of the toolkit uh, that a country has uh, to safeguard public health. Uh, the Swiss authorities had bilateral face-to-face -face meetings with the Colombian authorities where they expressed their displeasure that the Colombian government was thinking of issuing a public interest declaration for imatinib, a uh, cancer drug marketed by Novartis. I remember specifically a French uh, diplomat expressing the view that, you know, compulsory licenses, they're like a nuclear deterrent. They should never be used. And that was the feeling. Um, and I think, especially for, uh, non-communicable diseases, that is still often the feeling that, and I would characterize this as incorrect, that certain governments or companies have. Um, you know, we have concerns that Switzerland might try to impose uh, stricter rules that would impede the um, flexibilities uh, that a country like India would have. We would call upon uh, Switzerland to, um, both in thinking of the needs of not just its companies, but also thinking of the needs of its citizens. Because I think also Swiss citizens or people living in Switzerland uh, would benefit from uh, flexible uh, interpretations of trade rules that would permit um, medicines produced under a compulsory license. Uh, including oncology drugs. In terms of um, Switzerland's role in uh, um, trade negotiations, I would perhaps reflect that the um, cancer business, it, it's quite profitable for com country, uh, companies like Roche or uh, Novartis. In fact, s some of many of their top selling products, you know, they easily do around a billion a month. And I think by taking a more public health sensitive approach to these trade negotiations, I think um, I think Swiss citizens, uh, people living in Switzerland, will also uh, benefit from access to cheaper cancer drugs, uh, including those produced under a compulsory license in Switzerland. It would certainly be a signal that a high-income country um, would say it's, it's not justified and they can't keep on um, ripping us off, and especially given that Switzerland is also the home of uh, two large uh, companies based in Basel that specialize in oncology cancer drugs.